this is going to be hopefully an interesting discussion and this is something that we probably not seen in the past in terms of you know how the davids versus the goliaths sorry just kidding <laughs> it's not it's not that uh, straightforward it, it is essentially about cross country retail and what do we mean by, by that is essentially about how uh, local and regional chains in various geographies have evolved their own successful formats and models to cater to the customer aspirations in those uh, whether you call it tier 2 tier 3 small town villages you may have various nomenclatures but essentially it's the non metros that we're talking about and we have on our panel a very distinguished set of retailers who will take us through what it takes and what makes them tick and how to make this a successful format so let me start with myself uh, i will just give a small introduction and then we'll move to the panel uh like i said i represent trend hypermarket and uh, we are a part of the tata group a fairly large uh, supermarket chain we have close to 70 odd stores in uh, seven odd uh, cities of india largely in west and south uh the advantage i mean conventional thinking suggests you know that as you are a large player you will have economies of scale you'll be able to buy better and therefore offer customers a cheaper price but there are things other than price that matter to customers right and that is probably something that we learn as we go through this panel discussion the advantage we have is of scale and therefore price but what we as national chains probably tend to lose out is the customer understanding the customer connect and the relationship and the service that matters and that is something that this discussion is going to be about if at what's been your experience so on the flip side we are operating regional supermarkets we also have national players in our city but what we try to do is focus on the customers when you try to focus on the customers you come up with different strategies you come up with different marketing standards that can you know meet their expectations because at the end i believe customers flow like water wherever they feel it's convenient for them they will go there so whether you're a kirana store whether you're a local supermarket or whether you're a national player it doesn't matter fantastic what you've also seen and i'm you know i'm sure i'm repeating myself but uh, throughout the day you would have seen how the customers have changed over the last few years especially post covid with the emergence of digital with customers becoming more knowledgeable aware more aspirational there has been a sea change in terms of the customers requirements and this is not only the urban customers we are talking here about small time small time india or the rural customers as well as the income uh stream starts flowing from the metros to the non metros there has been a surge in demand and there has been a change in aspirations whether it's health and wellness or whether i want the range that you know my cousin brother who lives in mumbai is is access accessing or not all of that has changed uh we all know that many of the large uh, e-commerce players like flipkart uh, derive about 70% of uh, 60 to 70% of their revenues from small town india so Uh, the non metros are seeing a boom and regional players are really capitalizing on this at this point of time and that is something what we'll hear but guess what this boom is not going unnoticed large retailers are also expanding in into these uh, so called small towns in fact the other day i was going through the list of uh, 200 plus stores that dima today has and about 40 to 50 towns or villages i have not even heard the name of you know the other day i went strawberry sourcing to mahableshwar and there is a dmart store at wai which is just a small village at the base of that uh, you know mountain or you, you can say so india is changing fast and here we have a set of diverse retailers uh, who are experts in whatever they do in the geographies they operate so let us hear from them how they are leading this change what i would like to do right now ifat is just go around the table and uh, request each of our uh, panelists to briefly introduce himself talk a little bit about the company and tell us what is that one thing that their customers love about their stores and what is that one challenge that they have which they are finding it a bit tough to some amount at this point so if you can start the panel discussion please can i open with uh, you nadim yeah sure uh good evening everyone uh i'm nadim i am a founder of a supermarket chain which is called hartimart it is made out of ahmedabad and 
it is a franchise network where we have forayed into rural franchising by offering our our supermarket store franchise to villages so is a network of 15 stores now uh, the best part of my business uh, as uh, you rightly asked is i try to create an entrepreneur in his own setup in his own village so he has a network of customers because he already he is known entity there and there is a relationship which is on he's just milking a relationship and he's earning out of his relationship so that is i would say which which doesn't have uh, i mean this is the strength which other single entity owned supermarket chain might not have because they are dependent on their managers we are dependent on entrepreneurs retail entrepreneurs who invest now the flip side of the same thing is that sir in certain cases the relationship is too strong with the customer it's more of personal it's more of friendship so there uh, it is uh, the uh, uh, particular in a rural setup it is more taken for granted as far as uh, money transaction is concerned so they would say ke abhi jaldi kya hai abhi 15 din baad paise le lena you know so that is where uh, the cash uh, uh, is trapped uh, in a supermarket chain so this is a lacuna uh, a flip side of my venture uh, the other thing uh, maybe other people are doing better is that i am not into so much of supply chain of products to all these stores i i negotiate on their behalf uh, regionally locally and then i empower the local supermarket owner to do the next purchase so maybe supply chain i am working on it maybe supply chain is something which can be my weak link Thank thanks you. nadeep so the the number one new thing you said is that you have flexibility since it's a franchisee driven model uh, you don't necessarily have to invest in stock yourself so you have the flexibility of opening and uh, there's a social angle to it nadeem is helping to create uh, rural entrepreneurs which is a great thing for the country and the, on the flip side you said supply chain is one big challenge that you yeah because we we have not been able to crack that uh, right. as of now at this stage we are working on it we are working we are creating our own branch and maybe hopefully in a couple of years we would uh, crack that code but as of now we have not been doing fantastic yeah. fantastic to be honest this is the first instance i'm hearing of a successful franchise model in grocery as it is food and grocery is so tough you know with like this much margins within that to operate a franchise model fantastic yes sir thank you nadeem uh, very good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, my name is uh, major shankar karasgi I am head uh, channel partner management uh, Bharat Petroleum. Uh, you may be surprised like what Bharat Petroleum is doing in this you know, forum. Uh, in and out store is our brand. Uh, just to tell you about BPCL, uh, it was almost like 22 years back, BPCL ventured into you know, non-fuel activity. Uh, and uh, as I was just hearing him, like, you know, it was BPCL's venture into India. In the sense, in the metro market, we started uh, our stores, in and out stores, uh, 22 years back. And uh, uh, let me also share that, you know, in many of the metros, they are doing extremely well. I, know, I can say one crore per month sales also has been done uh, by each store. So that is a story of 22 years back. But then uh, BPCL, as we know, uh, decarbonization is happening, digitization is happening. You know, and uh, demography of the country is changing, okay, and uh, disposal income at uh, the uh, rural place, especially like, you know. Absolutely. So these things are, all these four Ds have made BPCL to rethink into the, you know, uh, uh, the new field of uh, venture, you know, avenues, that is uh, non-fuel, that is consumer retailing. So that's how BPCL last year, you know, uh, have created a vertical for this particular business, new uh, BU is created to focus on uh, the uh, sub-district, Tashil, Taloka level and down. Uh, because the, the growth, uh, major growth has been uh, envisaged to come from this place. And uh, as Nadim was just now mentioning, he's already doing uh, with 4,000 square feet, he's doing almost like 12 crore uh, his turnover, uh, what he was just now he was telling us. So we see a big opportunity for us to fulfill the uh, aspiration of uh, the Taloka and uh, rural places. Now, I'll, I'll take two minutes, if it is uh, OK, to explain the model also. Because uh, if it's OK. Yeah, we wanted to understand what you think is the okay. number one thing that the customers yeah. love and what you think is the Yeah, thing. like, uh, like w if you see, like, in this model is a little different. As I said, this model is a Bharat mo uh, model. The earlier model was an India model. Uh, so in this Bharat model, what we have brought is, like, you know, the outlet is located in a retail petrol pump. 
or it is located in a LPG distributor, uh, you know, uh, area like setup. Like we know, LP today, if you see BPCL is catering to 8.1 crore uh, customers, you know, uh, per month we connect, and the LPG cylinder reaches their kitchen. So we are already in their kitchen, but all we need to do is not only supply energy, but we also supply them the uh, grocery items and all that. FMG item. So that is one piece of the uh, model. Second piece of the model is like, you know, the store which is constructed in a petrol pump. Okay, that is uh, meeting the requirement impulse, that convenience and impulse requirement of the customers who are coming in the petrol pump. That's one piece of the uh, model. Second piece is, you know, there's a good catchment area in that particular town. And this outlet is a good outlet of 400 square feet having, you know, the customer can have a touch and feel experience which generally is not there in a, in a taluka place and in a, in a urban place. So that, uh, you know, catchment we are catering. The third very important piece is like, you know, we are, uh, you know, engaging uh, the women entrepreneurs in and around uh, that uh, taluka, that particular petrol pump where they are kind you know, of, we are establishing the stores. Around 10 uh, women entrepreneurs whom we call as Urja Devis. So they are picked, selected, trained, they have been given a you know, software to deal with the uh, customers. So it's a lot of an assisted e-commerce activity which we are doing in a, in a deep Gram Panchayat area. Like, you know, so that is, a, that is a third piece of this model which is supporting in uh, the, you know, creating the demand. So this is a, what uh, we have now already, we have launched uh, a few months back and uh, we are aspiring to expand and um, reach almost 1,000 stores by this uh, year end. And uh, if you ask me, BPCL, is a brand like Tata is a brand in itself. BPCL is known for its pure for sure brand, which has created a revolution in the country. So we, we are also, we are sure that customer has a lot of faith on BPCL and uh, we want to, you know, leverage on that uh, trust and brand and give them that uh, an, um, urban experience in that place. That's what we see like. Thank so you. So I was in conversation with Mr. Shankar and he said uh, that his store of, the store present in our city is doing extremely good about one CR sale. So, and, and how long has it been, the store? I think it's almost 22. It's one of the first outlets which we commissioned in uh, 2000, 2001. In Bhubaneswar. So, uh, right? In Bhubaneswar. Yeah. So, it's like almost like 20, 21 years. And he's doing one crore sales per month. You know, that's a silly. And it's a convenience store. Now they are it's a going store. to the grocery store as Absolutely, well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I think one of the biggest strengths is the property or the network of petrol pumps itself that you have, you know, which, I mean, any other retailer would die for that kind of a network. <laughs> In fact, that is one of the challenge for many of the uh, retailers, big national players like you to uh, get a network readily available. We have got 20,000 plus retail outlets in the country and those are all readily available for us to po position our uh, stores. Plus 6,500 LPG distributors are there. So almost like 27,000 network is already available. 8 crore uh, LPG connections, 2.5 crore footfall every day in our petrol pump. So it's a huge customer base available for us. All we need to do is connect with them properly and reach out to their uh, stomach. That's all we can Unbelievable. say. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, basically it's a Kodo model, but the company is constructing the entire uh, facilities. And uh, the franchise is given to the dealer who is running the outlet or the LPG distributorship. If he's not interested to run, then we are going for a third party franchise also. That's how it is like. Yeah. So we have Mr. Chetan Damji with us and we all know him. He has helped a lot of regional supermarkets also open up when there has been a lot of national players in the cities. So can you please brief us how these uh, supermarkets operate successfully? The basic difference between the chain and as you, as you said, that we are connected with the local people out there. The local people, not only personally, the local needs. Because India being a diversified uh, religion, diversified uh, habits, cooking habits, we are basically, Indians are people who cook. They, don't, uh, they are not can openers. So if you take only Maharashtra, then in Maharashtra there is Brahmin, there is Maratha, there is Konkani, there is CKP. Everyone has a different way of making roti. Imagine, the roti is different, the dal is different, the way of uh, cooking is different. And in all that, they need a particular type of dal, particular type of wheat, particular, there are, wheat is not wheat. There are many varieties of wheat. One which is used for kulka is different, one which is used for ro roti is different, one is used for chapati is different. So people are not aware. 
they don't know this is the change they are relying on that grocer he is giving me wheat for last 10 years he is giving the right wheat so to come he is giving the right dal right uh, rice right uh, spices jeera rai and all this basic difference is the key to the success of the retailers who are of that area and they try to if they if they were already there they have to convert it to modern retail that is self service system and over and above that there are some local products which help us make that outlet more successful say for in gujarat there are some special items which they eat in maharashtra there is some special items which they eat like there is nachni satwa in uh, Maharashtrian culture, which people don't know, no major retailers they don't even they have not even heard of, and there are some sub there are no proper suppliers for it. Most of it is either homemade or it is maybe uh, by a small manufacturer somewhere who cannot comply to the modern trade uh, rules of supply and all that. So this is big difference. Another big difference between uh, why the success of a small uh, retailer of a local town. because he has that particular range of pricing he has, he knows the price not it is not about uh, lower price or uh, costly price it is about right price the right price was right so we the retailer is not concerned about price he is pricing it right by the is standard margin he is concerned about the quality so what i see major difference the big retailers they stick to that turdal should be sold at 80 only but it, if the price rise happens then if he cannot stick to 80 he has to either go low on quality so the retailer doesn't the hardcore retailer doesn't go on that he looks at the quality which was eaten by the people throughout the year and he maintains the quality price will be reasonable fantastic i think i completely understand where you're coming from uh, mr dam ji and a uh, few of the things that you talked about are real challenges today for a national retailer like us you know our customer diversity of course is there across india and we know that but what you are really highlighting is even within a city say a mumbai city or a uh, pune city you will have so much diversity within the pockets and if you want to be really in successful mumbai, you need mumbai, to understand sir, mumbai east and west also is different <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> and finally retail really boils down to this you know how good do you as a retailer understand your customers and how well can you service their requirements and that's a perfect example of what sarvodaya supermarkets in mumbai has done thank you so much so if i can just move on um, mr rahul from uh, qmart if you can just uh, introduce uh, yourself tell uh, us a little bit uh, good evening uh, this is uh, dr rahul from uh, qmart uh, we are a uh, lifestyle supermarket in hyderabad uh, currently about three stores uh, two large format stores for 20000 and 40000 square foot and uh, uh, we've been around for 20 years uh, and we opened our second store in 2019 which is a fairly large store uh, the one thing that uh, differentiates us from the other stores around us is our customer service and uh, the range of products that we hold uh, in our stores uh, our uh, key challenge has been expansion because uh, we don't uh, discount anything in our stores so expansion has been uh, a key challenge for us so can you just tell us a little bit more about the assortment or the range that you carry which is different from stores like ours or a dmart or something so we have a lot of uh, imported products from like say gourmet to uh, to give you an example uh, when we introduced quinoa in our store uh, in about 18 years ago the customs didn't know what quinoa was <laughs> and it was stuck in the customs uh, for 20 days so that's where we're coming from fantastic so here we have a completely diverse set of panels we have heard from you know people servicing rural india to here rahul who's uh, with qmart servicing the other spectrum of the customers which is your uh, more affluent more well to do more aspirational with and servicing their requirements fantastic so uday we also have mr girish who is from uh, raipur please tell us something about your strengths
मैं गिरीश रेलवानी रायपुर से किशोर शॉपिंग मॉल के नाम से मेरे पांच सुपरमार्केट है रायपुर में ग्राहक को बांध के रखने के लिए और ग्राहक को हमारे को अपने पास बुलाने के लिए समय समय पे हमको ऑफर देने पड़ेंगे डिस्काउंट्स प्राइस देनी पड़ेगी कुछ ना कुछ उनके लिए कुछ ना कुछ हमारे को नया करना पड़ेगा इनोवेटिव करना पड़ेगा कुछ ना कुछ इनोवेटिव करते रहेंगे तो ग्राहक हमारे साथ जुड़ा रहेगा आज के इस मतलब जितने कॉम्पिटिशन में बड़े बड़े प्लेयर आ गए उनके लिए अपन ने क्या अपन सात से पचास परसेंट तक के ऑफ हमारे स्टोर के अंदर हम सारे के सारे आइटम में चलाते हैं सेवन सेवन टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ के प्रोडक्ट्स हम वैसे प्रोडक्ट ढूंढ ढूंढ के ले आते हैं उसमें अपन ए टू जेड प्रोडक्ट में अपन वैसा ऑफ करके चलाते हैं और दूसरा अपन एक जब खरीदो तब फ्री पाओ की एक स्कीम चलाते हैं हम इसका उदाहरण दे दीजिए प्लीज जैसे आप हमारे से एक हज़ार की परचेज शॉपिंग करेंगे तो हम आपको कुछ एक आइटम गिफ्ट देंगे साथ में देन एंड देयर जब खरीदो अच्छा। तब फ्री पाओ और ये थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज चलता है थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज ये और बाईस सौ के खरीदी पे चीनी मुफत देते हैं एक किलो और पाँच हज़ार के परचेज पे तेल मुफत देते हैं एक किलो तो जब हम हमारे शॉप पे हमारे उसमें हमारे चेतन भाई और गुरु जी मिश्रा जी है उनका टाइटल है जब खरीदो तब फोकट पाओ <laughs> और मिश्रा जी तो हमारे एक और चीज़ बोलते हैं जब तक सूरज चांद रहेगा तेल चक्कर यहाँ फोकट मिलेगा तो हम हमारे शॉप के अंदर <laughs> वो अब तेल और शक्कर फोकट देते ही रहेंगे बिल्कुल हमको देना ही है वो ऑफर अपने को वो ऑफर दो लॉयल्टी प्रोग्राम बेसिकली लॉयल्टी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू आफ्टर वन ईयर आफ्टर कलेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट इट विल बी डेर एंड देयर Fantastic. I mean, this is a straight answer to the large retail chains who who claim to be the best on price, but you're taking them head on. I mean, take care, take it. 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 फर्स्ट तो संडे ग्रॉसरी में रहता है सेकंड संडे में अपन देते हैं मसालास में थर्ड संडे ड्राई फ्रूट्स में फोर्थ संडे प्लास्टिक क्रॉकरी हाँ प्लास्टिक क्रॉकरी और एक दो आइटम और स्टेल आइटम पे आप छत्तीसगढ़ से हैं हाँ छत्तीसगढ़ रायपुर से स्टार बाजार शायद नहीं आएगा वहाँ पे हाँ ये आ गए सर सभी आ गए डी मार्ट आ गया जियो आ गया ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है तो अब देखिए अब इतनी बड़ी मार्केट है कौन कहाँ किसी को रोक पाएगा सही बात है तो आप कम्पीट कर पा रहे हैं हाँ, हाँ, बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आराम से आराम से एकदम यही सो वॉट वी सी हेयर इज एवरीबडी इज कमिंग अप विद ओन स्ट्रेटेजीज बी इट डिस्काउंट बी प्रोडक्ट असॉटमेंट सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव फाउंड आउट वे टू बी इन द इको सिस्टम इवन इफ देर इज अ किराना स्टोर इवन इफ देर इज अ नेशनल प्लेयर कमिंग इन it doesn't hamper our market uh i think next uh, i'm not sure uh, we have manoj dumre is he available no he's not here okay um sir uh, can you please introduce yourself and talk i'll introduce anil bhai navjivan super shop jalgaon so he is one of the first ones to start a supermarket when there was no one thinking of it in maharashtra jaise free tire mein dmart jab khula to pehle jalgaon mein khula acha ha ha to kya competition hoti hai ye chetan bhai hum jo aap bata rahe the sab humne sabne milke how to fight wo humne socha aur khas main sir ko bataunga सर हम बीपीसीएल का पेट्रोल हमने फ्री दिया है बीपीसीएल का पेट्रोल हमने फ्री दिया है <laughs> एक लीटर पेट्रोल तो फ्री देते हैं। लीटर पेट्रोल फ्री दो हजार का खरीदी पे एक लीटर पेट्रोल और जब जब नहीं मेरे पास नहीं है जब शोअर पेट्रोल पंप का इसका आपने लॉन्चिंग किया था पीओ पर शोअर का लॉन्चिंग किया था तब भी हमने जॉइंटली आपके रीजनल हेड आए थे वहाँ पर जलगांव में तो जस्ट इंट्रोडक्शन हुआ कि सुपरमार्केट वाले तो साथ में काम कर सकते हैं तो हमने वो साथ में काम किया ये बहाने मैं और आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहूँगा ओपनली कि वाई नॉट हमारे जैसे रिटेल चेंज को आप अपने जो जो एरिया के हैं वो आप अलॉट कर दो हमारा बोला हमारा फायदा जगह का मिल जाएगा ये मिल जाएगा क्या बोला वो 
कोडो है डीलर अगर ऑपरेट नहीं करना चाहेगा तो फ्रेंचाइजी दे देंगे आप ले सकते हैं सर हम यही बोल रहे हैं कि आप डीलर की भी रिक्स मत लो उसको पेट्रोल बेचने की आदत है हमको किराना बेचने की आदत है बनिया को बनिया का काम करने दो इफ आई देयर देयर सम बिजनेस डील्स आल्सो हैपनिंग हियर साइड बाय साइड यू सी सर हम हम बिजनेस ग्रोथ के लिए जमा हुए हैं ना सब लोग हम बिजनेस ग्रोथ के लिए जमा हुए हैं और रही बात यही है कि जैसा चेतन भाई ने बताया कि जो लोकल आदमी कर सकता है एज ए लोकल मैन मुझे करीब साढ़े तीन से चार हजार कस्टमर्स का नाम मुंह पे याद है तो ये जो हम जब हम खड़े रहते हैं हम हम जो हम जिस इससे काम करते हैं ना तो वो आइडेंटिटी और वो लेवलिंग अलग होती है बराबर है पर इज दैट स्केलेबल मतलब आप ये शायद कर सकते हैं आप एक या दो दुकानों में पर अगर आपको दस दुकान खोलने पड़ेंगे तो आप कैसे ये ट्रांसलेट करते हैं जो कस्टमर कनेक्ट आप बता रहे हैं जब मैं करता हूँ तो मेरा स्टाफ करता है अच्छा तो आ, मेरा एक स्टाफ है सर वो छः लैंग्वेज में बात करता है वाह बराबर है और जो भी जैन होंगे तो हमारा एक क्षमापना का डे आता है तो दूसरे दिन वो सब वो जितने भी जैन लोग हैं उनको फ़ोन लगाता है और वो बात करता है अनिल भाई के नाइन शॉप्स है ये तो ये ये और हर नाइन शॉप में यही कस्टमर सर्विस दैट इज व्हाट वी चूज एंड पिक दैट टाइप ऑफ पर्सन वी हैव वी आइडेंटिफाई एंड वी गिव हिम एम्पावर हिम टू डू दिस थिंग्स ही इज नॉट इंटरफेयरिंग विद देम ही इज रिकॉग्नाइजिंग दैम यानी हम कोई आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ मेनी स्टोर्स यू ओपन आप जितने भी नेशनल जाएं आप अगर ग्राउंड वर्क नहीं करेंगे अपने कस्टमर को नहीं समझेंगे तो फिर कुछ फायदा नहीं है और लोकली लोकली इवेंट जो करना होता है वो हम लोग बहुत अच्छी तरह से करते हैं बहुत लोकल इवेंट्स होते हैं जैसे मैं बताऊँ आपको कि अभी 75 फाइव आज़ादी का ये था तो हमने गुलाब जामुन गिट्स कंपनी से टाइप करके गुलाब जामुन फ्री बांटे थे तो ये एक बहुत अमेजिंग होता है कि हम एक नेशनल टच में भी आते हैं एक सोशल अपना ये भी होता है टच होता है और कस्टमर को बेनिफिट भी होता है Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing those insights. If I have clearly, I mean, I really thought that there's just one dimension of price and no price, but there are so many things emerging here that it is now we are seeing the element of customer connect at a different level. You know, one store manager knows 200 to 300 customers. This is something that is just not possible, I think, without. I was in discussion with Uday. They are in uh, Star Bazaar. Even they think of opening before opening a store. They think he who are the regional players who are doing it well and how to learn from them so that's the you know biggest thing that we keep on doing as regional players that is staying in good connection with our customers so far we have seen range as being a differentiator customer service as a differentiator and price and discounts, discounts also becoming yeah. a dis differentiator so so interesting to have this yes sir if we can move on do we have anil agarwal uh, md of ganashyam supermarkets here अग्रवाल जी आपसे थोड़ा बात करना चाहेंगे आप अगर हमको थोड़ा इंट्रोडक्शन देंगे और बताएंगे आपके चेन के बारे में और आपके आपके व्यू में क्या है जो आपको सक्सेसफुल बना रहा है हम 1989 से सुपरमार्केट में है ऐसा 1950 से किराना स्टोर था इस वक्त हमारे 14 ब्रांच है हैदराबाद में है और आगे फ्यूचर में एक्सपेंशन के लिए जा रहे हैं और काफ़ी अच्छा है हमारे पास हमारा भी क्या है नेटवर्किंग जो कस्टमर से बातचीत करना हम पर्सनली देखते हैं मैं हूँ मेरे ब्रदर है मेरे लड़के है लड़का भी आया हुआ है तो पर्सनल टच कस्टमर से हम भी रखते हैं तो ये और ग्रोसरी हमारा मेन है तो उस हिसाब से हमारा अभी तक काफ़ी अच्छा चल हम थर्टी थ्री ईयर्स कम्प्लीट कर चुके हैं थर्टी फोर्थ ईयर में भी चले अभी हैदराबाद जैसे सिटी में आपके पास सारे बड़े बड़े ब्रांड्स हैं मैं समझ सकता हूँ रूरल इंडिया में शायद नहीं है पर यहाँ पे डीमार्ट है रिलायंस है बाकी सब जैसे मैं स्टार बाजार के भी आउटलेट्स हैं तो आप अपने बेस को कैसे रिटेन कर पाते हैं ये कॉम्पिटिटर अब कस्टमर आपसे सबसे सस्ता प्राइस नहीं मांगता है? हम भी सस्ता संडे ट्वेंटी देते हैं वाह wow. <laughs> <laughs> सर 
we have some other gentlemen sitting on the panel. Can you please? Because I don't seem to have the full list here. Do we have any more regional players here in the audience? Anyone from the audience who would, uh, so, you know, so far the panel discussion is quite interesting, throwing up. Uh, let, us, let, us, let us give a chance to Chetan Karnavat. He is in the area uh, like Chakan. Achha. Chakan is an industrial area. So his experience of Chakan. Why not? Hello. Yes, Chetan. Chetan Karnavat from Chakan. Four supermarkets. Two chakan mein, grocery mein. Two two chakan mein, one grocery, one bada gaon chali. So actually, mera jo success hai, wo mera jo success hai, ya sab. Belongs to Chetan Bhai and my friend is Tushar Kothari. I am going to go a lot of this. And how to tackle the customers, how to maintain the category, how to share 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 the category. So, I have learned Chetan Bhai. And he scientifically actually tells you how to do business. And in every percent, there is a ratio mentioned. And if we maintain it, it will be 100% success. Thank you very much. और जैसे सर बताते हैं कि ट्रिपल प्राइसिंग या डुअल प्राइसिंग रखा है एक किजी में अलग दस किजी में अलग और कट्टा लेंगे तो अलग तो कस्टमर को उसमें इसमें बेनिफिट होता है वो चीज के लिए भी उसमें फैस्टिक जैसे आप रूरल में जाते हो ना तो बल्क बाइंग होता है क्योंकि लार्ज फैमिलीज टू टू ब्रदर्स � here, like in metros, there are nuclear families. There is no nuclear family. So what we tried there, we have given a look of wholesale supermarket. If you enter the shop, you will find both sides of Goniya, Goniya, bags, Kani bags. And we have given them, tried to give them a double, dual pricing or triple. So if you buy up to 10 kg, price is 40. But if you buy a bag of 25 kg, the price is 36. So that guy understands that this we are getting uh, cheaper if I buy more, and his, his need is to buy more. Excellent. Given the paucity of time, I think we'll open it up to the audience. If the audience has any questions for uh, the panel here, as we are looking at a very different set of retailers who approach grocery retailing from a different perspective altogether. This is not about uh, big volume, lowest prices, and so on and so forth. It's about customer connect. It's about understanding your local geography and the local customer as well as, as well as you can. So in that context, maybe two minutes just for a few customer questions. Yes? So uh, my question is to uh, Chetan. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm primarily representing Porter here, uh, which is uh, a logistics marketplace. Yeah. So how important or how big uh, of a um, shift there is going to be in the space of customer deliveries with respect to, uh, I mean, we've seen the quick commerce players coming in, right? People delivering in eight minutes, nine minutes, and there's a lot of uh, air around it. So do you think uh, regional uh, players, even national level players uh, of the world, uh, will, will they also be moving towards this sort of a shift? Or are we good without them? Because e I mean, quick commerce players do that already. See, I don't know whether you were in the, this, when in the morning, whether you were there. So when we are talking about there is needs, now this is not a segmented base, it's a need based. If I have a need, I'm having a party at 9 o'clock, I want chips and cold drink, I'm, or, I'm ordering to Zepto. But if I'm buying on a monthly need, I'm going to my regular grocer. But if I want to buy for my uh, garments and footwear and all, then I'm going to a hypermarket. So the, it is all need based now. And everyone has his own space. So. Uh, it is not about competition. It is about convenience now. Which convenience mod model is right for you at that right time? It is not, you will not you will, if you are you are young, but you will not shop totally on uh, online. You will go sometimes to store. Even if young person can do that, forget about old people. And in India, 80% are housewives. Right? They are for them. I would like to tell you, 
going out of the house is one day out <laughs> hour out so she enjoys going to the market talking to that bhaiya bargaining all that for her it is entertainment and that is not going to stop so and she is not going to even if she is operating the mo mobile whatsapp and everything she is not going to it is not at a comfortable to shop on online someone told in the morning <coughs> that young lady from new shop she is young and she is still believing in omni channel not on the because her data was right in 2025 maybe maybe the food retail online will be 3% maybe 3% so 97 is with whom banya jindabad <laughs> so on that note i think we will have to wrap up otherwise anish will join the panelists now <laughs> over to you anish and thank you so much thank you panelists thank, thank you, you it was a thank really you for having nice us. discussion great insights coming through thank you so much